Hey everybody, Iceman50 here. Um, so, I ordered a um, Iron Man arc reactor uh, model off of uh, a uh, Chinese website. Uh, I use it occasionally. Uh, I think the one I, I got this from was uh, Banggood. Um, this is the uh, Mark, their Mark II arc reactor. This is about uh, 32 bucks or something like that. So it's like, I think it's got some acrylic pieces and some LEDs and stuff. Uh, this looks pretty cool. I ordered this a while ago and uh, uh, we're going to put it together. Uh, and uh, hope everybody enjoys this video. Let's, uh, let's get into it. We can do some uh, unboxing and uh, we'll start putting it together. How about that? All right, let's get to it. Hmm. All right, I've got a bunch of packages here. Move this out of the way. Uh, it does come with a wrench. I wasn't sure if it was going to need screwdrivers or what, but I also have um, uh, actual tools. Like these are my RC car tools. This is a one and a half millimeter. See, it's a dynamite. So. These screws look pretty small. It looks like it's probably a one and a half millimeter. So maybe this is all we need. We'll set this down and uh, we'll look at the uh, destructions here. This out of the way. Okay. It says, please read these attentions. <laughs> so, let's see here. Not a toy. Please prepare the following tools in advance, including the shear, needle nose pliers, and the equipped tool kit. Use less glue as possible as you can, so to avoid it turns white. It is better to use the equipped glue dropper. Do not blow it by your mouth. <laughs> wear, the gloves in wear the glove in necessary. Turn off all, tear off all the protect, protective PLMs yellow blue and transparent on the surface of materials <laughs> you gotta love this uh, chinglish attention make little force it says, toward to the direction total end groups and <laughs> paste it by glue mm. <laughs> I didn't know there was gonna be glue uh, <laughs> let's look at the <laughs> this is pretty funny uh, arc reactor in the film is manufactured by Tony Stark. It not only can as the electromagnet to absorb the remaining shrapnel in the Tony's body prevents his blood bows? That's like a weird looks like, like a German letter or something. Bows into the heart. Uh, but also can as the energy source to provide the energy for the steel armor. And now... M A K R two reactor. I'm. S <laughs> it's supposed to be Mark two. M A R K. <laughs> wow, and it's in bold. You guys can see that it's down here. It's pretty funny. Um, was designed by Mando Studios. Oh, Mando. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, it is in your hand. It appears by the DIY assembling materials suite form. <laughs> You will can experience the process of the energy core is created by yourself. <laughs> and you will carry that sense of success and share the joy with your friends. <laughs> Attention. Due to the laser technology, ABS plastic will cause a small will cause to a small mass of melt mark when heating, which belongs to the normal phenomenon. <laughs> I think they're trying to say there might be some extra flash. They must laser cut the uh the plastic or something and they're saying there could be a little ridge on it uh, the small metal materials have the front and back side it is better to select the upwards glossy surface when carrying out uh, so they're saying there's a glossy side and a dull side keep the the shiny side out I guess oh boy okay so we gotta get into these bags there's uh, 
some little pieces here. Let's tear off the yellow and blue protected paper. The frosted surface faces upwards. Okay, so let's. Uh, it kind of looks like these pieces in here. Let's uh, let's take a look. <laughs> I'm gonna save all this little packaging. This is great. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Oh, look at all these little trim rings and all these Jesus <laughs> a lot of acrylic pieces uh, no we may not do this in one <laughs> in one video uh, wow let me find a pair of tweezers here oh my, my big head bumpy uh, bump the camera rig where did I put those man they're black I can never find them there we go hey there Let's move my computer mouse out of the way. Okay. Uh, so you gotta find something interesting. Well, it might not be in this set of parts yet. Ah, uh, it's this bag. I can already see. See these pieces here. It looks like like these pieces here so just push all those off to the side ooh metal bits oh this looks like those um those things you can assemble you know where they've got the little they're in the little metal kits and you bend the tabs together that's kind of what this, some of these pieces look like. It's pretty interesting. Let's see. Mm-hmm. All the little screws and standoffs and nuts. Okay. So this, this looks like this piece. Looks like there's three of these. But is it? Tear off the yellow and blue protective paper. Hmm. Which thing are we dealing with here? Uh, I think it's probably this piece. I don't think it's this because... I don't think that's it yet. Uh, I think that's another part of it. Ooh, look at this frosted trim ring. And it does have some protective stuff around it. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's neat. It's got this uh, cool design in it. Uh, let's see if I can... Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at here. Okay. Right, let me, I'm going to prop this off to the side. and uh, So I can read it, hopefully without uh, knocking into the camera over and over again. This is my new new setup. The frosted surface faces upwards. Okay. Let's get it. Ah, uh, I can't. Okay. Hey. Ah, that shot side looks pretty shiny. This side looks more frosted. <laughs> Damn it, man. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a not a forklift. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Well, that side's definitely frosted. Um Okay. So we got to pull off the uh, man, you got to pull off the protective tape on everything apparently. 
This could take a while. Um, me. Shoot, there goes the, there goes the destructions. Um, I'll probably speed this up. So, <sighs> sorry, let's get to where the actual camera is. So, okay, this has got a shiny side. And it's got a frosted side, too. So. <sighs> Why is there four of these? One. It shows three. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I don't know, do they give me spares? I have no idea. Let's uh, finish pulling the rest of this off. I know guys, this is super exciting. This is the kind of stuff that you get when you put little kits together. I thought this one was interesting because, you know, it actually lights up and you know, you plug the thing in, it's kind of like a, you know, almost kind of like a little lamp, sort of. Be a cool addition to the uh, to the workbench here. Ah, oh, yeah, that blue side just comes right off. Okay, so these all look identical. I'm assuming when I look at the picture, it looks. And I'm just going to knock my head on this lamp. I hope the lighting is good for you guys. I got um, my overhead light uh, magnifier and I've got a... Uh, here's my finger. <laughs> right over here I got another lamp uh, pointing down an LED light. I can, see, I can turn this up a little bit. Okay. It's plenty of light for me at least. Okay. Now it shows. Uh huh. Push the. Okay, so you can see this. But so basically, there's these uh, pieces that are in this middle. These pieces. It's saying to break off the most inner, inner ring. Put that together with that little screen, and then drop it down. Ooh, this is close. Drop it down into that thing we just made. That's that's step B. Uh, let's not lose all the rest of this. So it said take out the middle one. Cut off the smallest. Okay. Ah, oh, it's already kind of moving already. Maybe we'll get my little. So they didn't really tell you, but yeah. So we got some little flush cutters here, and uh, we'll just go in there. So 
only held in two places. Yeah. Okay. I do have um a little miniature file here. We can uh, 